All right, back in studio, Athlete Builder Podcast, Jim Beebe and Lucas Lauren. We're here by ourselves today. We want to just talk briefly about something we worked hard on and we're uh, championing. It's the Athlete Builder Summit, which is coming up here real quick. And uh, Lucas, I, we just want to spend a few moments talking about it, highlighting a few things, uh, and just making our basically our, our pitch why people should come, our whole goal with the podcast itself like we've been saying is making an impact with folks and uh this is basically the same deal the uh, athlete builder summit was the idea that came about after we had done a number of episodes and we had some you know awesome legit speakers on where i thought you know maybe we could get them all together for one day put out a big workshop get some continuing education credits and see if we could further our our reach and our impact so now that's the whole idea behind it. How can we then evolve what we're doing and reach more and more coaches and athletes? So the summit itself, June 22nd, it's an all-day thing. Check-in starts around uh, 8 o'clock, and uh, we got six speakers coming. And the uh, format is each speaker is going to speak for about an hour themselves, probably a little bit less. That way they leave time for questions. Lunch is going to be included, and then there's Beers and Barbells, which is our networking event right afterwards for those that want to stick around, hang out with other coaches, the speakers, the vendors. Some of the vendors we have on on tap for coming also, they're uh, former guests on the show. So, you know, we're going to be having a lot of folks in the audience and around the audience that can all make an impact. So if you're coming as an athlete or a coach, you're going to meet some folks, and it's definitely going to be uh, worth your time. And like I said before, with the uh, uh, there's continuing education credits with the NSCA. So anyone that has their CSCS and you need credits for each hour, you get you know point one credits. So there's six speakers, and you're going to get point six credits, and there'll be a certificate afterwards that we can give you. So those are the uh, the nuts and uh, bolts about when and where the summit occurs let's lucas let's talk for a minute about the uh the uh, speakers we have coming up yeah so our, one of our first speakers that we got coming up nick yankar um five time uh cross the games athlete um do you want to talk a little bit about what nick. nick's going to be uh discussing at the at the pot at the at the summit for sure nick and i did a instagram live video last week for about 10 minutes and he was kind enough to spend some more time. So the, if you know Nick, he's a college athlete, went to Indiana State, played football, and been in CrossFit ever since. And like Lucas said, five times games athlete. So he's competed at, a, at an elite level for a number of years. He owned two gyms. Now he does a lot of online coaching. He has different online products and services. But now we're going to have a speaker that's going to be able to speak about competing at a high level, running his own business. And the topics he's going to get deeper into is simplifying your training. How do you build strength and capacity with less equipment or even no equipment? If you're home by yourself, you know, a lot, a lot of people that want to keep having the newest trinkets, all the bells and whistles, and he wants to simplify and get more results, get better results. So he's going to spend his time talking about that, talking about some of his experience and just leveraging, doing more with less. So great resource. We had him on one of the episodes. Great discussion. Uh, very frank and candid. So you got questions about anything business wise, CrossFit wise, training wise, this is a speaker you're going to want to see. I think he's speaking last, which goes right into our networking thing. So uh, it's going to be a good one. The next one I want to mention though, Jesse Dale, talked to him last week a little bit. Lucas, you remember him. He was on early in our podcasting career. What are you uh what are you excited for about having Jesse speak about? Yeah, I'm just you know, just to have Jesse back speaking at the summit, um, you know, with all his experience with uh the bodybuilding. Um, you know, he's gonna have a lot to bring when it comes to the nutrition side of things for athletes, uh, which I think is a you know, under under spoken topic about when it comes to nutrition for performance. Uh I think he's gonna be able to deliver a pretty good message to our athletes and coaches that want to know about you know everybody knows you gotta eat your carbs your proteins and all that but i think he's going to be able to bring in a different kind of uh, outlook on how to actually eat for performance and you know put put a little bit more detail into what goes in on on that side of things um you know it's he's not going to be it's not your your 
college football nutritionist, but he's going to be he's going to give you more intricate details about what you can do personally to optimize your nutrition for your essentially your goals and your performance or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Uh, he's going to be a very very uh, good resource for any of our athletes and anybody looking to lose weight, gain weight, compete. All of it. All of it. Here's one. I talked with Jesse last week and went down and visited him at his, uh, he has a cigar bar also. So it's kind of like a uh, great little, you know, outlet or vice for uh, him and, and, and a few others, you know, me included. And here's one of the main reasons why I wanted Jesse. You know, Jesse's 46. He's run his own gyms before, across the gym and a Globo gym. He's competed in the powerlifting, strongman, bodybuilding world. He has a whole page worth of certifications. His macro millionaire business online for nutrition is um, recognized by uh, Indiana University. So continuing education credits all go through Jesse for this if you want that piece. And he works with other coaches on building uh, clientele based in nutrition. So he has his online business, which is thriving. He opened a cigar bar. He's open up, getting ready to open up a second one. He's 46. His wife just delivered a baby three weeks ago. They, they delivered at home with uh, midwives. They just had their first baby ever. And amidst all this, all this stuff that he has going on, he was already registered for this bodybuilding competition, a big one up in Michigan. And uh, he went through all of that and won the whole thing while in the middle of everything else. So when I talked to him about it last week, he said, you know, the one of the main things was Everyone says, I can't do this, or I can't do that, or I can't start my own business, or I can't improve my nutrition, or I can't train. And I got so sick and tired of people saying it, and for me trying to tell them, no, you can, I just want to go out there and just show them that, yeah, I'm doing it too. So I've done it before, and I'll show you again. And I'm like, it's like Roger Bannister when everyone says you can't run a four-minute mile, and then he goes out and just does it, and then 30 more people do it in the next six months, right? But it had never been done before. So one of his main drivers was, hey, I'm going to show people they can do more and handle their uh, their health and wellness. And I'm going to talk the talk and walk the walk, and then I'm going to talk about it as well. So that's one of the main reasons why I wanted him on the show uh, and at the summit. So uh, great stuff there. Looking at next, we got Kyle Moran, um, who I actually, Jim, just started working with. Um, you try. want to talk a little bit about Kyle? Kyle and I go way back, you know, he was at the forced barbell days when I was just starting my CrossFit gym and I needed to improve at Olympic lifting. So I would drive up to Fisher's about an hour away and work with him, Scott Schmall, uh, Dan Brown, who now runs Lift Lab, Tyler Miller. And uh, they got me much better doing Olympic lifting. So I was going there for about an hour and a half, two days a week. That's where I first met Kyle. Now he runs the Moran Academy, which is all uh, sports performance, but pr primarily Olympic lifting. He's taken over 100 different athletes to Nationals or the Arnold or American Open. And then there's a local karate facility down the street from him. And his background is also martial arts. So those students there that are doing karate, they come to him for strength and conditioning. So I've worked with Kyle for a long time. Um, I always call him Pink Pants because one of the first times we hung out, he's wearing these pink pants and he has his hair all blown up like vanilla ice. So great character, great dude, but, you know, knows his stuff. Uh, can get people better. He's also the uh, the main point person for Special Olympics here in Indiana, and we're going to partner with him on that endeavor and getting Special Olympics kids healthier. So I take the guy who has two different backgrounds, martial arts and Olympic lifting. He's had great success coaching other folks. He has a charitable endeavor with the Special Olympics with dovetails with what we do with the U Foundation. I combine all those things. We've had good successes with him. So it was another great fit uh, to bring him on the uh, summit. How's he uh, working with you so far, Lucas? It's tough. It's hard. <laughs> That's in the workouts are hard. Um, it's been good. We actually have a weekly meeting uh, coming up late, late tonight, like eight o'clock. So we uh, we'll be meeting each week. He's got my programming out. Um, you know, when we first started, I told him I was kind of out of shape and not conditioned for weightlifting and. Uh, it's been fun getting back uh, back under the bar. Uh, you know, it's been a little while since I've done a, you know, uh, an actual legit lifting program, you know, Olympic lifting program. I kind of forgot what, just how hard 
that stuff is and how much it how much you feel it each day and uh you know I, i'm i'm excited to see where we go with it it's been a so it's been fun getting back at it so it's not been yep. easy he's got me doing some lots of volume right now mm. Mm. Good time. You know, people don't know a lot about lucas's successes you know he did real well in that bodybuilding competition recently but Back in the day when he's still in college, all in the same 12-month period as he's, he's finishing football, with me, he uh, qualifies for collegiate powerlifting nationals. So that's squat, bench, deadlift. And just before that, he's at the Arnold competing in weightlifting. So that's snatch and clean and jerk. So Lucas is a legit athlete, and I don't think you've really competed much since the Arnold. So this will be, I, a good, this will be great getting back into it, right? Yeah, I did. Um, I competed at Illinois State Championships. Um like three, four years ago. Okay. Um, it was a year, a year or two after I moved back from Maryland. So it's been a couple of years since I really competed. And that was, uh, that was, I did, I was PR and hitting, hitting real nice totals. That was with, uh, you know, six months of consistent Olympic lifting training. So it's, uh, hopefully we can get back to what, back to those numbers. <laughs> nice. And so, so we got Tiffany Patterson coming. She's, uh, Parkview Sports Medicine, uh, strength coach, big wig there. So tell us a little bit more about Tiffany. I know we haven't had her on yet, but we're going to. We had Sammy Main on before from uh, Parkview, but I know we'll get Tiffany here soon. But tell us a little bit more about Tiffany and uh, what she was bringing to the table. Yeah, so you know Tiffany works for Parkview Sports Medicine just like I do. Um, Tiffany's kind of the big dog around here. Uh, she's the lead human performance specialist. Um, you know, so when it comes to the chain of command, she's she's right up there. Uh, she oversees the edge program, uh, part of the edge program, and she runs all uh, the strength and conditioning that happens over at Empowered Sports uh, over at the academy, which is a giant, uh, a giant volleyball prep college prep private facility. So she trains all the volleyball girls. She has a bunch of kids come in that are part of soccer, all the different kind of club sports, um, and she she handles all that that goes through there. And so she's trained couple hundred a day, depending mm. on where she's at, what time of the year, you know, if it's volleyball season, volleyball club season, she's training, you know, 300 kids a night. And, mm. uh, it's, it just kind of depends on what, what she's doing, but she's the second she's, you know, goes my boss, uh, Zach. And then I believe it's her. So she's, she's, she's kind of big dog. She, she's going to be talking about, um, kind of about relationships in strength and conditioning about private facility, high school networking, relationship building, stuff like that. She's going to be able to provide a lot of information. She's one of the best. She's one of the best at it. I don't think anybody, you know, anybody that watches her coaches, they're going to understand why she's so good. And, you know, for her to be in a male dominated facility in strength and conditioning, I think she more than holds her own. And man, she, she's just brings so much value and, and, to, the, to what she does over at Parkview. And when she comes over and you're not going to want to miss her because she's going to provide lots and lots of good information. Um, you know, Cause she's just been in the field forever and she knows, she knows it all. Well, I'm liking about her and what she wrote, she's going to be working on with us is yeah, she'll be talking about how to get athletes better, but she's also going to spend a good amount of time on how to coach coaches. So if you have yeah. coaches on your staff, she's going to hit that piece. Yeah. And any any gym any longer has multiple coaches. So that's a hard part because everyone can learn the science. That part's pretty black and white, but the the um the artwork that goes behind that and someone that has that longevity in that uh those years is gonna have provided a lot of value there. So I'm really, really looking forward to that component with her actually yeah, quite she's, a bit. She's one of the best coaches I've ever met, man. She's uh she's up there. Awesome. Um Moving forward, looking at Dr. Klutwike, uh, kind of a big deal, pretty big deal in his field. Uh, you know, nope. I know when we talked to him, I got when we got done, I was kind of like, man, I, uh, I don't know if I got smarter or just feel dumber. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you want to talk a little bit about having him on, what he's going to be talking about? For sure, Dr. K. Uh, I first met him because he did my both my wife, my, well, my wife's knee twice, not both my wives. My, my wife's knee twice and uh 
you get this sense like every once in a while you're around like true greatness, someone at a real elite level in anything. And I'm like, oh my gosh. In the first minute, I'm like, this guy's at that level. He took out a little Sharpie and is drawing on that little thin piece of paper that's on the uh, the uh, table that you sit on. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's just like, oh my, he just knows everything. So he's drawing parts of the knee and explaining what's going on. This is before any x-rays, any MRIs, just on base what he felt and the questions he asked. And it's completely validated. He's uh, kind of like winding down his career a little bit, stepping back from a lot of his other duties where he was the head knee surgeon for the Colts, Indiana State football. Um, he's been do- When you walk into his office and he has multiple offices, there's pictures on the walls of all these college and pro athletes. He's on international boards. His resume was 22 plus pages from all his citations, everything he's done. So any one of these guys is worth the price alone. But Dr. K, man, you know, he's coming to do it and, He's on these international boards, like I said. Like this is a legit dude. He's gonna talk about injuries, preventing injuries, especially with knees, return to play protocol. So anyone that runs a gym or has a team or is a strength coach, you know that people have to train around aches and pains. But sometimes there are injuries that set people back. And uh, how do you deal with that mentally and physically? And he's gonna bring all his tutelage and in, in years and dump it into us. So this is a a big big get for us. You know the thing I really liked about uh, Dr. Dr. K was, you know, you see a lot of, when you, you go into the, the doctor, uh, my back hurts. What were you doing? Oh, I was training. Okay, well, don't train. You know, they, they seem to be, you know, it's a go home and relax and don't do anything. And I don't think, you know, his approach was the complete opposite. And that's what I think about, you know, what makes him so, for me, it's what separates him. I mean, it's obviously everything else, but, you know, the thing that he's not going to have you just go and do go and relax or go and just do your, your stretches. He's going to get you back into training and he wants you trained and rehabbing. And, you know, when we, when we had, were on the podcast and we were discussing all these things, you know, it's, it's what you want from a provider. And whenever a strength coach and a provide a medical provider thinking the same thing, you know, I think it's a, he's going to be solid for sure. You, know, you hit it right in the head. One of the first things he asked Jen was, well, what are you looking to do? Because you're in your early mid forties, you know, you just, you have a sedentary lifestyle. She goes, no, I train all the time. And I go hiking in Colorado like every year. So, uh, I need, you need to fix my knee. However you need to fix it so I can keep hiking. So yeah. he's like, Roger that got it. Let's, let's go. I'll be, uh, I'm the, I'm the sixth speaker and I'm looking forward to it. As you know, with athlete builder, we talked about this a number of times. I come up with the, I didn't come up with this, but there's, I find that there's three components in building the athlete's mind. So there's their mindset, their knowledge of playing their sport, and what comes out of their mouth and how they deal with their teammates. Physically, there's their training, what goes in their mouth for their nutrition, and then how do they recover. So I'm always trying to move the needle in those six areas. And I like I like taking what everybody tells us, to, you know, the different concepts, and then structuring the plan. If I have an athlete in front of me, what is your evaluation process? What is your process for the year? How do you evaluate this quarter, this month, this week, this day, so that you can find the six things that you need to work on each day that move the needle more than someone else? I'm always, I've always gone to these other speakers or motivational guys, and I'm left feeling motivated and pumped up. I'm like, well, what do I do? What's my process? So I'm going to come in with, here's your process. Here's how you develop your process. Here's the questions you ask to identify the targets, the targets in all six of those areas. So that's the piece that I'm going to be speaking about. Yeah, I like that because, you know, we talk we talk about it every week and we talk about it all the time outside of that is you know, you're taking a, you take a very – a lot of people like to overcomplicate getting somebody better. Mm. And I think we've, we've got to a point where we've simplified it. You've simplified it to a point where you can apply it to everything you do in life. And if you mm. just apply it to this person, all they got to do is change a couple things over here and then this person over here there could be two different fields they can apply it the same way just got you know it's all in the context of what they're doing and i think that that's a great way to be able to reach everybody and get everybody better because you create a way to solve complex issues with a simple formula so that's the idea appreciate it what part are you looking forward to the most if you had to pick one thing luke uh, growing a, a, a new community, I think, you know, looking at, you know, what we're planning on doing here and what we're, we're building here. I think 
getting more people involved in in this thing is in making it grow the way we are. That's that's the exciting thing for me is because it's it's no longer just Unbreakable Athletics Academy and what you're doing at Plainfield. Now it's mm. athlete builder and it's reaching multiple different states, reaching the the within Indiana, within the strength conditioning world, within the nutrition world, with all these different kinds of um, you know fields. We're really starting to grow into a a, lo- a larger picture, and I think that's what's exciting about this is we're bringing it all together, and I think a lot of people are going to appreciate it, and I think they're going to find the genuine like find it more genuine because it's a, you know, it's a local business ran by a local gym owner. And it's something you don't see very often. I feel like you don't see other CrossFit gyms or any gyms in general trying to have an outreach like this. And I'm, I think that's, what's the most exciting thing about it. I appreciate that. You know, I like to say that I come up with all these ideas myself and I'm, you know, super fantastic, but there's this event called Swiss. I can't re- even remember what it stands for S W I S, but it's out of Ohio. Yeah. And it's a multi-day event with multi speakers every hour. And I thought mm-hmm. that's fantastic. That's legit. And I'm trying to do this with athlete builder as well. Why don't I bring that same concept to Indiana? And uh, so yeah. I saw someone else doing something. I just evolved a little bit to how it can fit us right now. And uh, this is what we came up with. So, we're really proud to put this out there for folks. Um, the part I'm looking forward to, honestly, I like the networking part because people kind of walk around and socialize and stuff. And some people probably be lifting some heavy barbells, which is cool. But really, it's the questions. When people yeah. come with, hey, I have this specific question for maybe this this speaker or for me or, or for someone else with a and a section. And they come up with, hey, what is this? I need help with this. And every time we answer those questions as best we can, that's the that's the payoff. That's yeah. that. That's the impact. So we're gonna give you some ideas or advice, or when I get advice or ideas from someone else, I'm gonna be able to move forward. And uh, when I go to these events, I pay for their knowledge, but what I really pay for is speed. Mm-hmm. It's the speed of you know they they have decades of knowledge that they've harnessed in their brain, and they're gonna answer my question in a matter of minutes. And that speed is what is really what I pay for. So can I get faster? or better at being a coach and I can, and I get these other people to ask these questions or they ask me questions or I ask questions. And that's where the real uh, evolution takes place. So when any, anybody comes and asks questions, that's honestly my, my favorite part, you know, hands down. You know, I think too, is if anybody, you know, anybody listening to the podcast, now they can link the podcast mm-hmm. to the summit. And now they can, they, I really feel like it's going to be able to allow people to, connect more and grow more and feel like they're a part of it as well. Cause they not only have, they listened to this person on the podcast, but now they get to come and listen to him speak in person and talk to him and get to know him a little bit better. And all the other people that are involved behind the scenes and around in the community. So gotcha. All good stuff. Let's just go over some nuts and bolts real quick. In case people don't know, there's a uh, standard price. It's uh 67 bucks. If you're a student athlete, college or uh, high school, if you're a student athlete, you use the code STUDENT, all caps, get 10% off. Uh, VIP option is 157 same same deal for student athletes, 10% off with that student code. And what is the uh, the standard price? Get you into the summit, hang out all day long, ask all the questions you want, participate, soak in as much as you can. The VIP option gets you all that. Also, we're going to record everything digitally, and then we're going to have it edited. And once it's edited, if you bought the VIP option, uh, we're going to send it to you. And if you're a coach at a school or with a team, you definitely want that because you can take the entire summit and then funnel it out to your team, and it's going to be a resource for you guys. So once that's done, we'll send that out. Uh, Jesse Dale and Macro Millionaire, they give, they're giving away three more products along with, the, with that VIP option. One month full access to their workout app. That's, that's a $99 value. The high protein recipe guy, he charges forty nine dollars for that, and then the entire bodybuilding contest prep. So if you want to build hypertrophy or just build more muscle, and even if you want to find out that, that's another ninety nine dollars, and it'll show you exactly what he just did to win the last show he was in. From there, like athlete, but what I'm giving away, uh, we're launching a digital course that's going to be between eight and ten hours, and we're giving fifty percent off to that course if you uh, get the VIP option. Also, the book that's coming out this fall. Um, you can pre-order it. So if you get the VIP option, once the book publishes, I'll mail it right to you. The uh, other piece, what else we got going? We got um, 
Zeus method. So that's Nick Urankar. That's his uh, online business. He had two pieces there, the Barbell Playground. It's a whole ebook on barbell complexes, $15 value that's included. And then one entire month free membership, all access to their unlimited training program. So all the different programs that he has on that site, he charges $27 a month and that's going to be free. Then there's Kyle Moran. He's putting together, we well, said 60 minute digital course. It's, it's looking like it's going to be 90 to 120 minutes on weightlifting, plyometrics, and velocity-based training, $125 value. That's included. And then entire 16-week Olympic meat preps training cycle. So Natalie Garnery from our gym just went through that, and she paid this, and uh, it's going to be included as well. So if you get the VIP option, lots of more intangibles. If you can't come, you want the VIP option, you should get that because we'll still send you the digital recording. So even if you're not there, you get the digital recording, you go through it, I'll mail you the CEU certificates, plus all these other add-ons and giveaways. If you want to come Sam, for part of it. For- my bad. If you want to come for part of it, you want to say, I'm going to come in the morning or whatever. There's still tons of value. Like I said, one of these speakers alone, in my humble opinion, uh, is worth the price. So what were you going to ask me, Luke? What was that first part you said again? So we're going to give away CEUs. Yeah. If you come to come to the, to, to the event, we have a, a certificate to print out. And then if you get the VIP option and you watch the CEUs and uh, you send me an email, hey, I watched them all, I'll mail you your certificate as well so you can get sure. credit for it. So whether you're doing it in person or at home, you're still going to earn the credits. Uh, just let me know that we did it. So yeah. and I'll, ma- I'll mail you the, the, uh, the certificate. Perfect. Who do you think this summit's ideally for, Luke? You know, honestly, it's, I think it's well diverse, you know, but it, it really, if you're looking at, it's really for your athletes and your coaches, if you ask me. I mean, looking at who we got speaking and who's going to be up here, I think if you're a coach, you're definitely going to want to be here at this. Um, you know, you're just going to get a lot a lot of value from some legit speakers and some people with a lot of experience. Um, and you're going to get your CEUs for it. And it's uh, right just west of Indianapolis, central location. Uh, come and spend the day, learn, get your CEUs, and uh, network a little bit. If you're an athlete, if you're an athlete, you're a student athlete. At the end of the day, I went to conferences, I went to summits when I was in college, and that's kind of you know that's how I got my career started. I, I networked whenever I was a uh, when I was a junior in college. I networked and met people at different universities, and that's really how I got my college career started uh, in coaching. So. If you're a student athlete and this is a career for you, I think that's this is going to be a, a great way to network and get to know people and, and build, potentially get a, maybe an internship or a job off, something like that. Um, and if you're an athlete looking to get better, this is going to be a great place and great resource for you to find uh, find ways to get better and to be able to apply it to your, your training, your recovery, nutrition, stuff like that. So if you're an athlete, you're a coach. If you're a student in exercise science, or any field like that, this is gonna. This is for you. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good time. Uh, we just want to get enough people there, so it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna wrap up here real quick. Some of the vendors that are coming, we got MyoFit, they're um, athletic trainers, so deep tissue massage, uh, scraping, uh, dry needling, cupping. They're gonna be there on site, working on people for free. Uh, meeting. They have uh, people on staff that go around to different gyms and work there. They have branches out of the state. So you definitely want to talk with them. Dr. Todd, strongman doc, uh, worked with high level strength athletes, gets them 20% stronger once they get off the table. So he's always taking those imbalances and fixes them right there at competitions or long-term with, with working people right out of his office. He's going to be there working on people. Jocko Fuel is going to be sending enough products for you guys to sample things out. Uh, we have an in-body scan that's going to be there. Uh, so you want to get scanned go over that booth as well. So even the people that are going to be around the perimeter are going to be legit folks. So definitely worth your time and and, uh, and and money. So you got questions, we have answers. You have problems, we have solutions. You got things you want to talk about, come ask. You want, you want to further yourself or your team, come with a whole list and we will answer everything as best we can. And we're going to put in, pour, pour into you everything we have. Where can you find us? Athlete-builder.com slash summit you got questions send us an email info at athlete-builder.com so that's basically it athlete-builder.com slash summit and you'll see uh you'll see us there in a few weeks and from uh 
from here at Athlete Builder, it's Jim and Lucas just signing off. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate you, Jim. See you.